Kastner Kellner process. It is also known as mercury cathode method. Sodium hydroxide for a long time is manufactured by this method. But this method is causing mercury poisoning in the rivers. In fact, on the banks of Damodar river of Hooghly, many a number of these industries are located and they have caused a lot of mercury poison in the Hooghly river and they are now being banned and sodium hydroxide is no more prepared by this method because it is causing a lot of water pollution and nowadays sodium hydroxide is prepared mainly by the Nelson's process. Anyway, there is some good chemistry to learn in this process. Let us go through the process. The cell consists of a large rectangular iron tank. It is divided into three compartments by two suspended slate partitions. The slate partitions do not touch the bottom. A layer of mercury is placed at the bottom of the tank in such a way that the plate partitions will slightly dip in the mercury layer. The mercury is brought in motion with the help of an eccentric wheel arranged at the bottom of the tank. The middle compartment is filled with a dilute solution of sodium hydroxide. Sodium chloride solution which is nothing but brine solution is filled in the outer compartments. Two graphite rods which are fixed in the outer compartments act as anode. A series of iron rods suspended in the middle compartment act as cathode. Mercury in the outer compartments act as cathode while in the middle compartments it act as anode by induction. On passing electric current, chlorine gas is liberated at the graphite anode in the outer compartments and sodium ions are discharged at the mercury cathode. The liberated sodium forms sodium amalgam with mercury. Coming to the equations, sodium chloride first ionizes to give sodium ions and chloride ions. NaCl gives rise to Na plus and Cl minus. At anode, a chloride ion liberates an electron and gets converted into a chlorine atom. Two such chlorine atoms will combine to form a chlorine molecule which escapes as a gas. Cl minus minus E minus gives rise to Cl. Cl plus Cl gives rise to Cl2 that are the reactions at anode. Coming to the cathode, sodium gets reduced to sodium metal. Na plus plus E minus gives rise to Na that is sodium metal. Now, the sodium metal that is liberated at the cathode in the outer compartment that is mercury forms an amalgam with mercury. Na plus Hg gives rise to NaHg which is nothing but sodium amalgam. The sodium amalgam comes into the middle compartment due to a rocking motion. This sodium amalgam reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide. 2 NaHg plus 2 H2O gives rise to 2 NaOH plus H2 plus Hg.